And we are learning that President Biden has a campaign manager in mind for his 2024 re-election bid. He's expected to appoint Julie Chavez Rodriguez to the position. Right now, she's the White House Director of Intergovernmental Affairs. And CBS News has confirmed Mr. Biden is expected to launch his re-election campaign as soon as tomorrow. But new polling shows 70 percent of Americans do not think Biden should run again. And that includes 51 percent of Democrats. CBS News political director Finn Gomez is following all of these developments for us from Washington. Hey, Finn. Finn, rather, Hi, it's really good to see you. Um, good to see you, too. What are, what are you hearing about this? Yeah, as you mentioned, President Biden is expected to name Julie Chavez Rodriguez, a senior West Wing official and longtime Democratic Party activist, to manage his re-election campaign. Uh, three people familiar with the plan uh, tell CBS News. Uh, Chavez Rodriguez currently serves as senior advisor, advisor and assistant to the president. Uh, she is also currently, currently the senior most Latino official in the West Wing and one of just a few Latinas to ever climb that high on a presidential staff in either party. Uh, Chavez Rodriguez also worked for Kamala Harris's 2020 presidential bid. She was her traveling chief of staff and political director, giving her a key connection to the vice president, whose profile has been uh, increasing in recent weeks, Anne-Marie. Uh, she's also the granddaughter of Cesar Chavez, the labor and civil rights leader. Uh, and uh, Mr. Biden uh, memorializes Chavez in the Oval Office by prominently displaying a bust of him behind the Resolute desk. Uh, you know, several sources say that several key staffing and operational decisions remain to be made. And while that campaign and while that is being made, um, uh, you know, the uh, the expected launch with a video message on Tuesday, uh, th those decisions th those decisions could slide um, the date, the release of that video if these key appointments are not yet made, Anne-Marie. Uh, but as the president prepares for a possible re-election announcement, he is facing some headwinds. According to an NBC poll, as you mentioned, uh, that, that was released this weekend, 70 percent of Americans think he should not run, including 51 percent of Democrats. Uh, for those surveyed saying he should not run, they point to age as a major part of their position. Uh, the president turned 80 in November, Anne-Marie. Yeah, he would be the, I guess he would be the oldest president uh, ever. Um, right. Former Vice President Mike Pence, who's expected to seek the GOP presidential nomination, spoke to Robert Costa yesterday about his plans to run. This is what he said. It's almost May. When are you going to decide <laughs> on whether you are running for the Republican nomination? Well, we're getting awful close. But I don't have anything to announce today, Robert, but I Will I you promise... make a hard decision by late June? I think anyone that would be serious about seeking the Republican nomination uh, would need to be in this contest uh, by June. And Robert Costa putting the pressure on, but still yeah. not getting a clear answer. Why would Pence wait until June? Yeah, I was in Iowa with uh, with, with Robert Costa in, at that interview. And uh, to me, Emory, I would just say that it, it does sound like he's going to run or, or moving in that direction. Um, you know, two key factors, I would say, is that one, uh, Ron DeSantis, who is the Florida governor, of course, and who was not entered and is widely expected to jump into the race uh, after the legislative session in Tallahassee ends early next month. Uh, once he gets in, a lot of a lot of the Republican operatives that I, uh, I have spoken to say that that's really the, the really the start of the race. And uh, for someone like uh, vice former Vice President uh, Pence to get um, some momentum, uh, the Trump, uh, the you know the former President Trump and DeSantis have really have those those are the two main sort of early front runners, if you will, have to really go uh, at each other, if you will, and they have been politically. And then because of that, uh, there'll be space per perhaps for a third uh, option. And I think there's some so there's some there's some expectation for that to happen. Also, uh, you know, politics is an expect expectations game, Anne-Marie, mm -hmm. and there is a June 30th end of quarter deadline for fundraising. And so if uh, if uh, if Pence gets in too early, let's say, um, there will be an expectation of how much money he fundraises before that June 30th deadline. So if he gets in a little bit later, um, you know, it would sort of downplay those expectations of, you know, of, of raising money before that deadline. But it's all about getting to that first debate, that first debate, which is, is going to be in August, that first debate in the Republican presidential race. And um, and so. But again, Anne-Marie, with, you know, uh, being there in Iowa, speaking to Iowa voters, speaking to evangelicals, is especially uh, there does seem that uh, the, to me that that the former vice president is 
is moving in that direction mm -hmm. uh, into a potential bid in the 2024 race. All right, someone else who hasn't announced but everyone expects to run is Governor Ron DeSantis. Right. Um, so he's on a bit of an international tour. Uh, he's gone to he's he's in Japan now, but he's he's heading also to some other places: South Korea, Israel, the UK. Um, I can imagine why he's doing this, but why don't you you tell us what, what's up with this world tour? Well, you know he is um, uh, as we know he is he is a, the Florida governor, and in that in that position, there's you know it's it's primarily domestic mm -hmm. uh, policy. It's, it's mainly uh, focused with you know. Uh, on the domestic side of, of politics, if you will. And so it, it, the, this is done in part uh, to bolster his foreign policy credentials of his widely expected entry into the race. Um, you know, asked by reporters in Japan about 2024 uh, on this trade mission, DeSantis said, I, I'm not a candidate and we'll see if and when that changes. But, you know, there is that expectation that he will jump in after le the legislation, legislative session is over in Tallahassee. Um, but he's going to be also after Japan, he's going to be heading to South Korea uh, and then Israel, where he's going to give a big speech and then the United King Kingdom um, before he uh, returns back to uh, back to the States. All right, Ben Gomez, thank you. Thanks, Anne-Marie.